to the series you should have some prior knowledge of containers dockers and how it works as we know containers are a flexible way of running different applications on physical or virtual machines like in virtual box you install an operating system on a physical machine and it takes a lot of memory and power so container is hosting an app without an extra added operating system layer but containerization is not enough when we have to manage application that is running on multiple containers spread across different machines these containers must be managed by doing tasks like scheduling uh, load balancing and distribution so this is where kubernetes comes into action it is actually a tool that manages orchestration now if you want to scale up your app reduce downtime or need some added security you don't have to manually deal with all the containers but instead use kubernetes and it handles all the heavy lifting for you i should mention here that there are other orchestration tools in market like docker swarm or apache mesos but kubernetes go along perfectly with docker now we can set up kubernetes using different methods we will look how to set up kubernetes locally let's use the simplest way that is minikube to quickly run it on our local machine uh, here is the kubernetes website and we can find different solutions but we are interested in minikube so uh, but before we begin there is some prerequisite like virtualization technique we can enable it in windows bios settings and it will allow us to create multiple virtual machines that can run as separate operating systems we also need to install virtual box you can visit the website and install it according to your operating system like linux or os x i am using windows so i have already installed it uh, next we will install cube control or command line utility for windows i will just simply download the file it allows us to run commands for kubernetes clusters it can be used to deploy applications and manage cluster resources uh, i will download one more file minikube windows amd64 and i will rename it to minikube.exe now make a folder somewhere in c drive and copy the downloaded files in it i have created a folder named kubernetes and copied both of the files here let's open a command window and open the folder where we placed our files uh, write minikube.exe start it will allow us to automatically pull the image from internet and deploy it to our virtual box i will pause the video here and will come back after it is installed on my pc Congratulations guys we have just set up a basic kubernetes cluster with a simplest command let's download a simple hello minikube image by copying this command here and paste it into the command line it says here hello minikube created so it means we have successfully installed minikube now if i write kube ctl get pods we can observe here that our image instance is running on a single pod Let's talk something about pods. So the pod here is a basic building block of Kubernetes. Normally we have one container for one pod. So this is the reason that sometimes pod is interchangeably used with container. But actually pod is at a higher level than that holds this container. Keep in mind that pods can also hold multiple containers, but the best practice is to keep pods as small as possible. deployment here is actually responsible for these pods it sees how many pods are needed and it also restarts the pod whenever needed one more thing i should mention here that multiple containers on a single pod share same resources as if they are on the same machine and have same ip address and when it comes to load balancing we can replicate this pod and also in case of failure we have a backup pod that is the exact copy of the original pod Now if i write kubectl get nodes uh, we will get a node node represents a single machine think of node as a computer server or maybe a physical or virtual machine uh, there can be multiple pods on one node uh, we separate these nodes in two types master and worker nodes and each node runs two processes kubelet and container runtime Kubelet is responsible for communication between Kubernetes master and worker nodes and it manages the pods and containers running on machine. Container runtime is responsible for pulling the container images from registry, unpacking and running the application. Multiple nodes form a cluster. This cluster can share load and like pods if your application fails, it can be still accessible from other nodes. 
master node is responsible for all worker nodes and is actually responsible for orchestration these nodes have different components and that is what differentiate them as master or worker nodes we will further look into it when we look into cube admin let's look at hello minikube web server again uh, if we look at the command we pasted we can see the actual command is kubectl run and here hello minikube is the name of the image and it is downloaded from this link and is on port 8080 now uh, if i run another command kubectl expose deployment and the name of the image hello minikube this command will expose this port to our host machine so like service hello minikube is exposed now if i write minikube service and the name of the image again hello minikube dash dash url we have this url uh, and copy it and paste it in the browser and we can see an eco service if i write my app uh, in the url we can see it here it changes our real path so finally our cluster is working in order to delete services we can just write cube ctl delete services and the name of the image again hello minikube and we will see cube ctl service is successfully deleted further if we want to delete deployment it will delete the image hello minikube deployment extension deleted finally uh, we can stop minikube by simply typing minikube stop so this is it we have successfully deployed hello hello minikube that was very simple indeed next we will look into cube admin uh, we will make three virtual servers and configure them as master and worker nodes and manually configure them